one of the key distinctives of a Talbot education is that integrated into our curriculum is spiritual theology. And in spiritual theology, you're actually learning how do I not only learn information at seminary, but how do I take what I'm learning and bring that into prayer with God? Every Talbot student will take part in a whole sequence of spiritual formation courses because we believe not only the life of the mind, but the life of the entire person needs to be formed for the glory of God. And Talbot professors do a great job of bringing in assignments that are keeping us focused on what is the Spirit doing in our lives? How is God changing us? I came in with a more intellectualized, I think, version of what seminary would be, that it'd be a lot of learning, a lot of reading, but it's also been a lot of um, challenging my heart. It's a lot of self-exploration. It's a lot of looking back on your family life. It's a lot of looking back on your community and how they shaped our worldview, how they shaped um, just the way we approach ministry in general, how we see God. While the students are going through those, um, those rather kind of robust courses, they'll be in cohort groups as well to help them process all this material. It kind of gives you a second family that you have. Generally, it's not gonna be people just from your discipline. You're gonna have MDivs in there. You're gonna have MA New Testaments in there. And in that cohort, we're really learning how to listen to others and how to be present to one another. One of the goals is that we come together and we learn, how do I tend to someone else who's wrestling with God in their own lives? as the way in the history of the church, they've always said it's the Word and Spirit together. If it doesn't hit the heart, um, how do you get up and preach? How do you get up and teach? How do you go up and shepherd people? At the end of the day, the goal of a seminary ultimately is not simply to form an intellect, but to form an entire life. There is a great emphasis on becoming Christ-like, so that how they look when they come in is very different from how they leave and they're ready to face whatever the Lord brings into their life.